sharp! What the... Holy shit! What the fuck was that? You might be wondering, what is this aircraft from Top Gun Maverick? Well, if you haven't already known yet, this is the Su-57 Felon made by Russia. In the movie, it is called the 5th Gen Fighter. Maybe it's to avoid provoking Russia, but I wouldn't know. And it is the Russian solution to combat the Western 5th Gen Stealth Fighters. This aircraft is basically a stealth fighter with outstanding maneuverability. I bet the pilot does backflips for their warm-up exercises. The 5th Gen Fighter, or the Su-57, was designed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau. The shape of its wings and body, coupled with thrust vectoring nozzles, gives this aircraft incredible maneuverability and stealth capabilities. This aircraft, being a part of the Top Gun Maverick aircraft set DLC, was released on the 26th of May 2022 alongside the movie Top Gun Maverick. But how does it compare with other aircraft from the DLC? And how does it compare to the Su-57 that was already in the game? And is it really necessary to add another copy of the same aircraft? Let's start off with the stats. On the left, we have the 5th gen fighter and on the right, we have the Su-57. And here are their normal stats. As you can see, there's not really much of a difference between both of these stats because these planes are basically identical. However, on the 5th gen fighter side, you can see that the air to ground capability is a bit better, but the other stats are a bit less than the Su-57. And we'll get to discuss that in a bit. The top speed of the 5th gen fighter is 2,575 on sea level and at max altitude at 11,000 meters above sea level it is 2,833. Whereas the Su-57 is a bit faster at 2,746 on sea level and at max altitude around 3,022. The stall speed and the stall limit of both of these aircrafts are identical at 300 and limits at 250. And with modifications to the aircraft, the 5th gen fighter can reach up to 3,008 km per hour on sea level and 3,309 km per hour at max altitude. Whereas the Su-57 can go up to 3,179 on sea level and 3,498 at a max altitude and they both stall at 270 kms per hour and begins to drop their nose at 220 kms per hour. And at slow speeds, both of these aircrafts can perform a post-stall maneuver, which is called the Kulbit and the Korba maneuver, one of which I already showed you at the intro of this video. Moving on to the differences between these identical aircrafts, I guess the big difference is that they have different loadouts for different purposes. For example, the 5th Gen Fighter has the LACM, which is a long-range air launch cruise missile, and it can take out targets at 10 kilometers or more. However, the base game SU-57 has pulse lasers, which is a skill-based weapon, but it has more utility compared to the LACM. Another big difference is the way you obtain them. The 5th Gen Fighter is part of the Ace Combat 7 Sky Zone known Top Gun Maverick Aircraft Set DLC, while the Su-57 is already part of the base game. You can unlock the Su-57 by collecting in-game credits which you can use to purchase aircrafts from the aircraft tree. The Su-57 costs 900,000 MRP in-game and it is at the end of the aircraft tree so it might take you a while to get there, whereas the 5th gen fighter, because it is part of the Top Gun DLC, it might cost you up to $30, but that depends on the country where you are purchasing the DLC and also the time when whether it is on sale or not. Lastly, the difference is that they both have different sets of skins. The SU-57 has 8 skins in total and they are based on the Ace Combat 7 franchise while the 5th gen fighter is based on the movie. And that wraps up this video. What do you think of the 5th gen fighter? Personally, I think it's a nice addition to Ace Combat 7. 
it gives the SU-57 more weapon choices without compromising its core gameplay. Although you have to pay $30 for the Top Gun Maverick aircraft set DLC, you still get the other iconic aircrafts from the movie. So what do you think? Comment down below on your opinions about this aircraft. Next video I'll be taking a look at either the F-14 or the F-18. And thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day and Happy New Year's.